There's one right there. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. There it goes. They're everywhere. And I wanted to just document how I catch these queens. See, if you look on the ground, you see them walking around. I'm not sure what species, species this is, but... You also gotta check them, because they might be males. Uh, that looks like... A male to me, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna let her be. This for sure is, this is another species. There must be four or five species flying today. So small. Um, I don't even know how I would be able to pick that one up. Come on. I have caught about two of these already. They're the most difficult to catch. There you go. Sweet. Test tube her up. And we'll prepare our test tube for her after. And add her to the pile. Now, I know it's been said that if the queens still have their wings on, that they're, it means they're not fertilized. That, I can say, is untrue because I've had queens with wings lay eggs and um, they've turned out to be fertile um, queens with workers. Uh, they often just remove them later on. I also caught a Laceus queen a few weeks ago. Um, with a male attached to her abdomen, so I knew she was mated for sure. And she never shed her wings, and a few weeks later she um, had, uh, she had eggs. And so I will be proof that, um, that it's untrue if you catch a queen with wings that she might not be fertilized. She just might not be fertilized in general, even if they break their wings off. Here in my yard, they're just kind of like flying around. Yesterday it rained, and it's the first time that it's rained in weeks here in Toronto. There's one right there. And so, today, it's warm and humid, and it's perfect for the queens, for the nuptial flights to happen. So here are some of the ones I caught. Um, we've got some Laceus Neo Niger here. Um, and I believe a social parasite, tons of these. Um, it's a Laceus parasi uh, social parasite. Um, I believe they're citronella ants. I love the way they smell. Um, and of course the little diminutive species here, really tiny. I have no idea what she is, but I will verify her species on the ant forum I'm part of. This is a Laceus queen I caught with two males attached to her abdomen, so she's mated for sure. Um, we like to land on this tarp here, and See how they congregate? They just congregate here. These are all males, but there will be females congregating around here. And I just pick them up with my test tube and add them to the pile. There's another Laceus. Where'd it go? Anyways. Hope you enjoyed my oh, anting spree. And there goes a broken test tube, which I have to clean up now. Come on, Laceus. This here is a Laceus Neo Niger. There were tons of them. Tons, tons, tons of them today.
Theseus and Niger. It was incredible how many species of Laceus were flying today. Couldn't believe it. It was an ant lover's heaven. <laughs> like Europe and that there was an ant store where people could have access to materials and equipment required for successful ant keeping. Um, I feel like it's a great hobby uh, that can definitely take off here in North America with more awareness and like bioliteracy was promoted. Because they're just such fascinating creatures. And, you know, fairly easy to keep in terms of pets. I was asked once if I would be willing to start a business like that. <laughs> First of all, no, because uh, the laws make it difficult to really run a business like that in North America. Second of all, I love my current career and it's very rewarding financially and otherwise. Okay, another Lacey is here. So that is how I prepare my test tubes. I keep these queens warm. Every few weeks I will use a toothpick to create a drop of honey for them to drink so they can fill up and in a few weeks they will likely be going into hibernation as it gets colder and uh, that's it thanks guys for watching my video